Notice from the Foundation Records and Information Security Administration. By annual security update, item number of itemization has been initiated. Until security update is complete, all files are locked. For emergency updates, please access Emergency Data Archival System, EDAS. Maria Jones, Director, RASA. Item number SCP-001, Object Class, Euclid, Clearance Designation, Level 5. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-001 cannot be secured or contained conventionally, and it is unknown if it may occur in the future. As such, a reactive approach is to be adopted. Said approach consists of the following chapters of the Forbidden City Convention. 1. Prevention and minimization of the conditions conductive to the possible occurrence of SCP-001 or its equivalent via Forbidden City Convention Chapter 1. 2. Management of organizational transition and unity following implementation of Forbidden City Convention Chapter 1 via Forbidden City Convention Chapters 2 and 3 respectively. All above mentioned chapters of the Forbidden City Convention are not to be altered unless via unanimous vote by the old five council. Description SCP-001 is a successful occurrence of a CK class restructuring scenario which generated the current reality via alteration of a previous iteration of reality. Based on first person accounts, SCP-001 occurred on the 1st of June in the year 1900, Arnold money of the previous reality. The nature of SCP-001 is such that all causes, events, references, and memories of a Cold War I referred to as the Fifth Occult War in the previous reality are omitted and replaced with various anomalous and non-anomalous parallels in the current reality. Foundation documentation regarding a Cold War I is obtained from anecdotal accounts of 13 non-anonymous human beings who retain their memories of the previous reality via a phenomenon coined as partial SCP-001 immunity. However, the mechanism behind partial SCP-001 immunity is unknown and will not be assessed as decided by the O5 Council. Efforts to identify additional individuals, if any, with partial SCP-001 immunity are on indefinite hiatus, as decided by the O5 Council. Below is a bridge list of events during a Cold War I and plausible analogous events in the current reality. See document OWI for an expanded list. A Cold War I Phenomenon Description Analog in Current Reality Referent to the term Fifth Occult War A global war occurring throughout the 19th century Anno Domani coalesced from three separate conflicts in Europe, Napoleonic War, East Asia, Day Fight Conquest, and North America, American Civil War. It is also notable for overt use of anomalous objects, leading to an IK-class global civilization collapse scenario. A conflict in northern China concurrent with the Boxer Rebellion, whereby members of the Brotherhood of Harmonious Fists allegedly utilized unnamed anomalous objects. Although usage of anomalous objects was minuscule, the O5 Council lobbied for the term Fifth Occult War to be the official referent among organizations with awareness of anomalous phenomena, and it was officially acknowledged by the Global Occult Coalition during the Foundation GOC Summit of 1953. Coronation of Napoleon I After his coronation, Emperor Napoleon declared neo nepticism to be state religion of France and Europa to be its patron deity. Napoleon was crowned Emperor of the French in the ceremony presided by Pope Pius VII. 
No indication of neo-Nazism or Europa worshipping is identified throughout Napoleon's regime. SCP-2515 is the only evidence suggestive of either. Deified conquest of East Asia. Most of East Asia was invaded by a civilization of humanoids called the Deifites. Conquest began from the three northeastern provinces of the Qing dynasty. No recorded anagrams of French records from SCP-140 maintained that the Deifite civilization was destroyed by the Mongols in the 13th century Anno Domani. That being said, Deifite artifacts have been found in the northern areas of the three northeastern provinces. American Civil War A civil war between the United States of America and Confederate States of America. Both factions, among others, were supplied weaponry from a group named the Factory. The war gradually spread to Mexico and Central America, following relocation of the Confederate government. No factory involvement identified. The American Civil War did not escalate beyond the continental United States. The Key Pacification Campaign An initiative led by the Seaworth anti cold Regiment to suppress the Thurgi, an organized gang known for harassing the Fatula, who were deemed to be co belligerent with the British East India Company against their fight incursion into India. Suppression mandated by the Thurgi and the Koiki Suppression Acts, 1836 to 48 Anno Domani, neo kick involvement confirmed. Vatican Holy Office for Secrets and Prophecies An organization with an awareness of anonymous phenomena affiliated with the Holy See. During Napoleon's invasion of the Italian peninsula, members have taken refuge in South America, African Free State, and the Middle East. The Artifacts Section, a department of the Vatican Holy Office defected to the Italian Unification Movement, informed the Foundation Precursor Royal Office for Christian Artifacts. The Vatican Holy Office eventually merged with the Foundation in 1964 Anno Domani, establishment of the Mexican Empire. Self-proclaimed as Sem Anahoc, a successor state to the Aztec Empire, subjects of Sem Anahoc and media preceded by them possessed mimetic capabilities, which were used to subjugate neighboring states such as Texas, Guatemala, El Salvador, and Honduras. The Second Mexican Empire was established via French intervention and ruled by Emperor Maximilian I. He allegedly broke the marriage alliance with an instance of SCP-2155-1 prior to his execution. East Tennessee Convention Pro-Union elements based in East Tennessee succeeded from the state of Tennessee following the latter's involvement in the American Civil War. The resultant state of Franklin was admitted into the United States of America and is the only state in the Union to separate from a Confederate state. The East Tennessee Convention ended with the occupation of East Tennessee by the Confederate Army. Instead, West Virginia succeeded from Virginia and remained a state following the American Civil War. Taiping Rebellion A rebellion in day fight occupied southern China, orchestrated by a slave named Hong Wen Kun, who claimed to have received divine revelation from a deity called Mother Dragon. It was suppressed by the day fights following the destruction of Taiping capital Taisuking. From we got on King prior to Taiping liberation and massacre of the city's residents. A type S event announced by SCP-089, which was resolved by an expeditionary force co-organized by Her Majesty's Foundation for the Secure Containment of the Paranormal and the State Nor. Hong instead subscribed to a personal interpretation of Christianity and renamed himself Hong Chuchuan. No psychic involvement identified. Nonetheless, captured Taiping subjects exhibit signs of mental maladies. Nanking was temporarily renamed Qiangqing, 
while controlled by Taiping rebels. To mid massacre, systematic slaughter of about 150,000 ethnic Mongols in day fight occupied Mongolia by a day fight thrall. Reports indicate that said thrall possessed two braided weapons and possesses unspecified regenerative abilities. The corpses of rebels were taken by day fight forces for unknown purposes. The Xinjiang Do incident similarly involved a massacre of about 150,000 ethnic Mongols, although it was caused by the Chinese secret society Xinjiang Do. Existence of Xinjiang Do in previous reality cannot be ascertained due to limited sources. The cause and origin of SCP-001 are unknown and cannot be ascertained. It is unknown if SCP-001 or its equivalent have occurred prior to its known occurrence or may ever occur in the future. Additionally, it is unknown if SCP-001 represents a typical or atypical occurrence of a CK-class restructuring scenario. In the event that SCP-001 or its equivalent has occurred or will occur, it is speculated that the majority, if not all of mankind and or sapient entities who have no recollection of them or the events prior to the moment of occurrence. It cannot be ascertained if partial SCP-001 immunity is applicable to future occurrences of SCP-001 or its equivalent. The definition of SCP-001 was finalized by the O5 Council in a 5-4-4 vote, and the Forbidden City Convention was ratified on the 7th of September in the year 1901 Anno Domani. Addendum 1. Excerpts from the Forbidden City Convention. Chapter 1. The Foundation. The following organizations are to be dissolved and disavowed from their respective patrons, and their personnel and resources are to undergo merger. Her Majesty's Foundation for the Secure Containment of the Paranormal. Estate Noir. Tsar Sears. Kaisernitz. Dutch. Profenberg. Paranormal Engelgen Haydn Copa American Secure Containment Initiative Imperial Commission on Transgressive Occurrences Royal Office for Christian Artifacts Special Investigation Board Council of the Dutch East Indies Inner Africa Expeditory Society The Knights of the Military Order of Royal E. Aragon Bureau of O'Mill, Abnormality Institute, Zeroth Anti Cult Regiment. In third place, a new tree organization is to be established. The mission of this new tree organization is to secure and contain various anonymous objects in order to protect mankind from said objects. The reverend for the new tree organization is agreed to be the foundation. The following alternative reverend institute organization, and front has been proposed and rejected. The aforementioned 13 organizations in which the Foundation is formed from are henceforth designated as Foundation Precursor. Chapter 2. The O5 Council The Professional Executive Administration of the Foundation is to consist of an Executive Council composed of 13 individuals from each of Foundation Precursor. The aforementioned 13 individuals of this executive council were selected due to the following criteria. Leadership position and respective foundation precursor. Possession of memory regarding a cold war eye. Future members of this executive council are not required to possess both of the above mentioned qualities. The referent of this executive council is agreed to be the O5 council. The following alternative reference, Overseers Committee, Level 5 Council, and O5 Command have been proposed and rejected. The function of the O5 Council is to facilitate initial transition from Foundation Precursors. Each O5 Council member is designated with a Roman numeral ranging from 1 to 13. Other organizations 
merchant into the foundation henceforth are to be denied representation on the O5 Council. Chapter 3 Groups of Interest Organizations with awareness of anomalous phenomena that are not subsumed under foundation control are hereby designated as groups of interest. The foundation's default approach towards groups of interest is to pursue for the dissolution, termination, and or assimilation of the personnel and resources. Addendum 05 1 to 13 Succession Note Regarding SCP-001, file displayed is dependent on logged-in O5 account. Welcome, O5-1, to my successor. As the main editor of SCP-001, I have already written all that you need to know. After SCP-001, only the 13 of us knew of it, and we each stood at the height of our respective precursor organizations. Certainly, we were fated to take command and unite as a foundation. As you can tell from the vote, there were two other alternatives for SCP-001 from our debate at Beijing. They were ultimately voted down, but 2 and 12 left their marks on foundation history. A pity that 12's limited command of the English language must it a relatively vernacular term as opposed to as opposed to twos and mine. Nevertheless, our initiative to speak up for the first O5 meeting will be remembered and honored in almost every SCP article ever penned down. As for the Foundation's mission, I hope you and your colleagues continue our work. Welcome, O5-2. To my successor, Santarana once said, those who cannot remember the past are condemned to repeat it. Now, the world as a whole cannot remember the past, but does it repeat itself? Yes, it does. During the Second World War, was there not another authoritarian dictator terrorizing Europe? And were the Chinese not massacred again? Of course, the Titus defer and America kept itself together throughout that war. Maybe that civil war occurred again in our lifetime, or will occur soon. Or that scaled down skirmish, was it? That still leaves the factory, but it is elusive. Product of an anomaly should be an anomaly in itself. SCP-001 in this world are not exceptions. Piece by piece, this world is undoing and repeating itself for every SCP not, if not minimally, in our control. The process is ongoing. Until then, there will be chaos in this system. Once, I propose that we guide the world back to its original state, but the others disagreed in favor of establishing tyranny. Ultimately, I acceded. There is no need to fight for my views. Nothing will change the process. No action is needed, except to wait. Or, in short, Kedda. Welcome, O53, to my successor. Anomaly and normalcy, both are subject to the consensus. Today's anomaly might have been yesterday's normalcy and vice versa. The scandal lying uncovered is one such example. Debitomania is no longer anomalous when the consensus side is no longer holds water. Apply the consensus onto SCP-001 to the rest of the world. The occult wars do not exist. They exist only to those who know the anomalous. To those who know the anomalous, occult war I does not exist. Only 13 men imagine it to have existed, and that could have been SCP-001. However, the Council established our own consensus, and my opinion shifted to that when it was announced. More of us decided that we should establish order over all anomalous matters instead of suggesting that we might be the problem. That would only be the first of the many consensuses reached. 
he fully held influence over the world's conceptions of what is normal and what's not. Perhaps they resulted in the world you have grown up in. Thus, remember these. Consensus has value, and to be normal is to abide by the consensus. Welcome, 054. To my successor, I'm one of the few who fought in the front lines for both Fifth Occult Wars. I was gravely disappointed by the official Fifth Occult War, which is more accurately a skirmish. Those boxers similarly could not compare to the day fights and clockwork worshippers. Even after turning almost every other agency and cult into our enemies, the Vine's gut society could not compare to total war. Perhaps it's a youthful bloodlust in me talking. It's a frequent quirk since SCP-001 happened, like during Beijing when I voted for Tu's proposal out of impulse. I didn't care for his strange theory. I only wanted to fight on. So many sacrifices were made already, and I have made significant sacrifices as well. They could not end in quiet days. But now I'm old, and quietness still come for me. But you are here to fight on. Make sure that it does not end in quietness. Welcome, 055. To my successor, you now know that the world was once averted from total destruction due to an uncontrolled event. And because it is uncontrolled, we cannot guarantee if it can work again, or if it would be in our favor. We should not rely on uncertainties like SCP-001. As a species, we have mastered and stomped on all the beasts and lands of the world respectively. Many crafts are now mastered by man, crafts that were once dreams. The restoration of the world is simply another thing to be mastered. If the world can rewind itself, we can do it too. By combining our resources, the magnum opus I envisioned can be reality. It might have been utilized already, or construction is still ongoing, but SCP-001 will be irrelevant when it's ready. By our will, mankind rules eternal. Welcome, 056. To my successor, we agreed that SCP-001 happened, but we don't know if it is the only time SCP-001 ever happened. Could it happen again? Most of the world be near its annihilation for it to work. How much is it enough? How about transviality memory retention? A more accurate term than that ill-defined compromise. How does it work? Why only us? Can it be replicated? The list goes on. The unusual phenomenon's level of uncertainty surely necessitates quantification. Euclid is a reminder of that conviction, that more should be known about SCP-001. I suppose you would have that drive, cultivated by the foundation advocacy for scientific Methodology. Containing and protecting cannot be the ends. Knowledge is. But the majority of the First Council was too afraid to probe and wanted to either abandon it to be preventative, neither solve the problem really. But you can do your part in solving it. Only you can see this and have access to however little I can find out. So let that be your starting point. May you deliver results and bring meaningful data to SCP-001. Welcome, 057, to my successor. Officially, only 13 people were immune to SCP-001, but there is another, Jibo Mani. He was a consultant working for the Sublime Port, and we met when I took refuge in Constantinople due to Napoleon. He was most hospitable and became fast friends despite the traditional enmity between Christendom and Dar al Islam. We stayed with each other until the occurrence of SCP 001, where I find myself in Rome. In the current world, he managed to contact me, and I knew he remembered our friendship in the last past. Meeting him, we spoke extensively about our memories of a Cold War I. 
I invited him to join me in an upcoming gathering in Beijing and other men who remembered the war, but he politely declined. The Bo would rather defend his friends and clansmen, especially when we knew that the Middle East was in chaos then. He was skeptical towards one and his affiliation, but I could not blame his suspicion and respected his wishes. He parted ways since then, while I took on the title of 057. Jibo told me that he would return to Iran to gather allies for his cause. Just as he desired to protect his loved ones, my obligation is to the world and I will defend it. P.S. Out of respect, I decided not to report to the council about Jabro. I do hope that whatever organization Jabro and the council built in the end will not clash. The only wish to protect. Welcome, 058. To my successor, as you can infer from the votes, there were three choices that ultimately led to SCP-001. One's proposal was really the only option. The others were stupid. Two essentially demanded us to be anarchists, while twelve assumed that we're a bunch of lunatics who need an oriental drug. No thank you to either. Most of us have been collecting anomalous objects to begin with, so the foundation is not much different from at least half of its precursors. As for the other half, the groups of interest will have everyone on the same page. You should have been doing this job for quite some time, so I expect you to keep it up. Welcome, 059, to my successor. SCP-001 is a restructuring of reality. That's our consensus. Therefore, SCP-001 is reality-bending. To claim that reality will inevitably revert to correct the world, which is similar to Scranton's famous address on the topic. That being said, the latter insisted that reversion would be caused by the reality bender. It might be hard to control sapient beings, although some scholars believe that an engine may theoretically increase the probability. This prospect brings hope that the greatest known act of reality bending can be reverted, and when it happens, the world might revert to its previous state, complete with my home in the African Free State where the IK class scenario did not really apply. It might as well be the previous world's only safe haven. That stability was lost after SCP-001, and I ended up working in a less hospitable setting. Even though I was not favorable in one's concept, the Foundation is by far a better environment. It is also a good place to figure out how to realize Granton's ideas, or at least invest in someone who can. Despite the money and subjects I have supplied, progress had been slow, and I have come to terms that I might never regain my losses. But you can. Should SCP-001 happen again, you should continue the research in whatever way you can, because you shouldn't be like me and lose that which is yours. No one deserves that. Welcome, 0510. To my successor. There were 13 groups that started the foundation, but not all of us stand equal. Take 12's at Mamlati Institute, unendorsed by the Qing, but mine is similarly in decline. Our namesake was a witch hunter, but none of us actually met a real witch. An interest group was a more accurate description of the Warhar Knights of the late 19th century, if not for the memories I had of a Cold War eye. It would have remained that way. When one spoke of his great scheme, I have my doubts about fighting the anomalous. Each new generation of knights is a shadow of the previous, and it shows. In the Cold War eye, I remembered my knights being annihilated by Napoleon's clockwork soldiers. They were and are not ready for an occult war or any fight against demons or sorcerers. To submit to one's proposal would have meant gruesome deaths for them again. Esther Grandmaster, 
I could not send them to their deaths. When the vote was not in my favour, I briefly considered to not abolish till the terms of merger. That thought perished when I heard eight proposal to foster the unity of our newly dubbed foundation. After that, I decided that my knights should at least die meanfully against monsters rather than a sacrifice. All of us die eventually. Make it meaningful for those you hold responsibility over. P.S. All things considered, the resources from the other precursors did ensure that the last generation of knights will be better than the previous batch. Welcome, O511, to my successor. Congratulations for your service to the Foundation. I imagine that you have to climb the hierarchy to reach this position. Unlike I, who was granted this position by virtue of being the first, your virtue must be astonishing, unlike mine. During a Cold War, I, Kyoto, fell to the Daphites, Emperor Komei, and most of the council were killed. The Shogun and his agents only fled to Ezo. I was among the few to have left Kyoto alive, but only because I feared for my life. I ultimately regretted my choices, and shame overtook me. Not even death liberated me. At least Emperor Komei passed away in a less violent manner in this new world. This brought me to my vote at Beijing that we were hallucinating and the amnestics would cure us. Actually, I only want to forget, but consensus was reached, and I am not allowed to forget. One insisted that we were fated to work together, and no one else shall stand alongside us in the council. At least it was tolerable, knowing that there were others like me. Three, seven, thirteen were very positive influences. My successor. I know not your colleagues in the old five council of your time, but they shall be your sworn allies. Remember that. Welcome, O five twelve, to my successor. I am sure you have heard of amnestics, and I am sure that it has been improved over the years. But the origins of amnestics, as a whole, is one of the many secrets of the foundation. I will explain. Amnestics was originally a secret of the men clan of alchemists. I married one of the clan's women to claim the right to make it. Originally, I wanted to cure myself of a series of disturbing visions, which we now recognize as memories of a cold worn eye. Before I could prepare the concoction for myself, Eleven contacted me and told me of similar visions. Soon, I gained knowledge that there are more men who experience the same vision than they intend to meet at the capital. As a physician, it is my duty to see to everyone's recovery, and I attempted to convince them that it would be safe if we take no unnecessary action. Most of them disagreed with my views, so they insisted on a democratic vote as per the ways of the West. Needless to say, my views were rejected. But not amnestics, Five concluded that it is useful for a can refer to memory, vaguely similar to SCP-001. Thus, amnestics stopped being a cure for the illness I had proposed, but to cure the common folk of any knowledge of the abnormal. Unfortunately, Patriarch Mung did not prove the foreigner's theft of a clan secret, and among clan was one of the earliest groups of interest we faced. The fates were as the boxes were, Although, a junior too might have escaped to Shanggong with what little they knew of the formula. Please, be of use to the council. But if you have earned this position, you should be of use. Welcome, O513. To my successor. SCP-001 said that only the 13 leaders of the precursors were immune from its effects. But that was incorrect. There were only twelve. One and I have only known each other for decades, and I owed him a lot. 
Naturally, when he asked for a tiebreaker vote, I obliged. He filled me in on a day fight incursion in India to complete the deceit. When there were things I did not know of, I blamed it on the British's unwillingness to be open with my regiment. I suppose you might be ashamed of the title by now, but if not for me, I dare say we might have three different foundations at war with one another. For me, it was an opportunity to be treated more seriously by the Europeans, and I took advantage of it. Since then, I have made many amends so that others may not end up in my situation. Thus, promise me that you vote according to your will, not by another's.